So you've clicked on this video because your throttle's sticking like this. So in today's video, I'm gonna go over and show you on how you can fix your sticking throttle just like I showed you guys there. So before we go ahead and start pulling this thing apart, I'm gonna tell you some of the reasons on why it could be sticking and then it'll give you a better idea of where you need to start fixing this at. So the very first reason that you could have a sticking throttle is because you crashed and you stove the handlebar down into the ground and it's possible that dirt has got jammed inside the end of the handlebar. You might just not have enough grease inside the throttle slide or it's possible that you've just never cleaned out the throttle slide or the throttle tube. Now here's a bonus reason for y'all with the bark busters. So if you guys have hand guards that have these wrap around bark busters on them, it's possible that when you crashed that the end of this, the screw that's in it, has got jammed up too far inside the throttle grip. So now it doesn't want to twist. Now having the throttle that's sticking when you're out on the trail can be super duper annoying and super dangerous. So you're gonna wanna make sure we fix this up. Now if you don't fix it, these are a couple things that can happen to you when you're out riding. So the first thing is accidentally popping wheelies, AKA whiskey throttling. It happens because now the throttle is sticking when you go wide open and let go. Instead of it snapping back and being no throttle, it's still wide open throttle and you may not be expecting it. Now worst case scenario is that you over rev the engine that you actually can blow up and harm your engine from doing it if you're a wide open throttle and then you go to let go and the thing stays wide open after you crash the bike and it's just sitting there going ding 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 at full rpm well you might blow up your bike so you definitely want to get this fixed before you end up falling off the bike again and possibly grenading the engine in your dirt bike so let's jump into showing you how to fix this so to remove our throttle tube it's really easy the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come up and there's two phillips screws here that are holding on the throttle now we're going to want to make sure that we're super careful not to strip out these screws or you're going to have a real fun time trying to get the rest of this thing off. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pop those two screws out. All right, now that we got those two screws out, we can go ahead and pull this cap off that was held in by the screws. Now this white section here is what slides on the inside of this piece you just took off. So it's important to make sure, first thing you wanna do as we start pulling these parts off is you're gonna wanna clean out each part. So we're gonna go inside here and you're gonna wanna clean this out thoroughly and make sure there's no debris. If there is debris inside of this piece, uh, your throttle could get stuck. So clean this out and then you're gonna wanna hit this with some light grease. So an example is some Never Seize could go inside of here, some sort of light grease lubrication. Keep this from being either rusted or corroded. So we'll th sit this to the side for a second here and we'll come back to it. Now, after pulling off that exterior cap, you can see if I fold back some of the rubber here, you can see right there that piece of metal, that is your actual throttle cable and that's what's attaching the throttle twist itself to the actual throttle in the carburetor. So our next thing is gonna be to pull this guy out. So to do that really simply, we're just gonna grab this piece, pull it off, then we're just gonna slide it towards me and there you go. There's the throttle cable and it slid right out, no problem, which is a good sign that it's not bound or tied up inside of your throttle slide. Now we're gonna do the same thing that we did with the other half. We're gonna go ahead and make sure we clean out the insides of the slide and then re-grease it lightly with some light grease. So now that we have our throttle linkage removed, we can take our grip and slide it right off with the throttle assembly. Now, once we've pulled our throttle off, you're gonna wanna go over and make sure you clean this shaft off really nice and well. And then we're gonna, same thing, hit it uh, with some nice light lubricant and uh, make sure this thing is nice and slippery that this guy can slide on and off, no problem. Once again, if you had dirt or debris stuck underneath inside the throttle tube, you're wanna gonna clean the inside of this out and clean off this here. Now you may have some scratching or burrs creating, so you might want to take some sandpaper. You can take sandpaper and just make this all nice and smooth again so that this guy slides on no problem. Now if you're thinking of changing your grips, this is going to be the perfect time to go ahead and change your grips. Now it's possible if you have wraparound hand guards that in the end of your grip you have a hole here and it's possible that dirt has been shoved down in here and it's getting in between the layer rubber of your grip and the plastic layer here so you have it, it grinding uh, in between the grip and the throttle tube. Now, once we've done those cleaning steps, it's time to assemble it back together and see if it all works. So what we're gonna do is take our throttle, we're gonna slide this guy back on. We're gonna grab the section of cable with the throttle linkage. And this is the kind of tricky part is getting the throttle cable here, this linkage piece to slide back in the side of the throttle here uh, and getting it straight. So it could take a little bit of finagling, just like that, we've got it popped back in. Now our throttle cable is linked again and we're just gonna sit this part back over top of the white, which is the throttle slide. We'll take the other half of it here and then we're gonna stick this back on. 
We're gonna make sure this is centered and stuck on square. Just like that, make sure it's kind of all snaps together. Now we stick our two screws back in here and we'll see if we have fixed our throttle. And we're just gonna tighten these up. Now when we're tightening them, tightening them, you don't wanna go all the way tight on one screw and then go to the other screw and tighten it all the way. Uh, and that could cause uneven pressure so that it's not squeezing equally on the throttle, which would also make it stick. So we're just gonna make sure that we stick the screws in together at the same rate. So we're just gonna get them both till they're screwed in most of the way. And then we're just gonna go a little bit on one, a little bit on the other, a little bit on one, a little bit on the other. And now this should be nice and snugged up and tight. And moment of truth, look at that. The throttle snaps back, no problem. And just like that, you guys have fixed your throttle. So if this video has helped you figure out how to fix your sticking throttle, make sure you go down below, leave a like, click subscribe for more, and leave a comment down below if you got any questions and I can help you out with them. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.